As with many aspects of dirt riding, hill climbs can be bloody intimidating at first, but a few basic techniques will have you flying up them in no time. We reckon the key points are body positioning and balance, traction, momentum, looking ahead, and bike setup. Body position. Stand on the pegs as much as possible. You have far more control this way. If there is good traction, you can simply lean your body forward to ease the strain on your arms. But as traction becomes an issue, you can actually use a trials technique. Lean your body back more to get weight over the rear wheel. But squat down on the foot pegs to keep your centre of gravity low and prevent wheelies. Bent legs also act as shock absorbers, which will just provide extra suspension to cope with bumps and ruts. On steep climbs, it's a careful balancing act between traction at the rear, but preventing wheelies. Ideally, you'll get comfortable with the front wheel skipping along just enough to allow you some steering. You can still use your legs to keep balance while standing. Just make sure that you keep that rear wheel weighted for the best traction possible. Throttle and clutch control. One of the most common mistakes on hills is big handfuls of throttle, high revs and lots of wheel spin. Watch the top extreme enduro riders climbing technical hills and they rarely break traction except in unusual terrain such as a hill climb through gravel where wheel spin can't be avoided. Try to ride in a higher gear and slip the clutch as needed. Always have one finger on the clutch. If you need to change down a gear despite clutch slipping, do the change as quickly as possible and resist the urge to apply heaps of throttle in the lower gear and brake traction. Also get to know your bike's stall threshold. It's surprising how low particularly a two-stroke will go before it gives up. Momentum? It's your best friend on hill climbs. Try to get a good run up and maintain a steady pace until loss of traction means you will need to apply less throttle. Whenever there is a section of good traction or a flat bit of terrain, use this to build your speed up again for those tough bits where you'll need to back off the throttle. That looks steep. Look ahead and pick good lines. Don't fall into the trap of looking at the terrain right in front of the front wheel. Look ahead and pick the best line for climbing. If you're actually practicing on a particular hill, try walking at first, as trial riders do, to look for the best line and areas of traction. Bike setup. Lower tyre pressures will give you a bigger footprint. 10 psi is a good figure to start with if you won't be hitting hard edges at speed, which might give you pinch punctures. If you do a lot of cross training, lower gearing will usually give you a bit more choice of gearing for hill climbs. Also, you can look at tuning your bike for extra grunt and a flatter power curve, which will always make traction easier. What about those really steep climbs? You'll see in extreme enduros that even the top riders will eventually sit down well to the rear of the bike to weight the rear wheel for traction and then paddle with their legs as needed. If you find yourself in this situation, make sure your weight stays on the rear of the seat even as you use your legs to keep balance. We can guarantee the moment you take any weight off that bike, you'll lose traction. 
Stand on the pegs again the moment you've got enough speed to do so. Stuck on a hill? If you've stopped and the rear wheel is just spinning against a ledge, rock or tree root, use small blips of throttle and clutch plus body movement to get a rocking motion happening. Usually by the third rocking motion you should have just enough momentum to ease past the obstacle. This conserves your energy for the rest of the climb. Turning around on hills, if you know you're not going to make it, don't try and turn and ride back down. Just turn to the right as you come to a stop and if it's very steep you can dig the handlebars into the ground to stop sliding. Apply the rear brake then hop the front end around. Alternatively, wiggle your front wheel until facing downhill enough to ride off. This is the safest way to turn around and also saves a hell of a lot of energy. You can still use this technique if the bike has turned to the left accidentally. It just means you won't be able to apply the rear brake. Ready to challenge yourself? As you gain confidence with hill climbs, Try steeper terrain and with less grippy surfaces. To test your skills, deliberately do a hill climb slowly so that you can't rely on momentum. Deliberately stop and see if you can get going again without digging a huge trench. This will really test your throttle and clutch control.